Hey, so welcome to day five of the 90 day joy challenge that started October 1st. If you are just getting into this, it doesn't matter what day we're on, just join us. We're talking about breath this week. I um, gave you a challenge on Monday to just set little alarms on your phone to stop you wherever you are in your day or certain days of um, certain times of the day, maybe lunch, dinner, breakfast, maybe 11, 11, 12, 12, 1, 1, whatever floats your boat. But those were reminders to just have you check in. What are you doing? Where are you at? But today, we're doing something a little different. Today, I'm going to teach you the belly uh, fire, the fire breath. And I'm doing this today because I want to pump oxygen into your system. When we pump oxygen into our system, like a workout, like an intense workout, we are revitalizing us. We're creating more energy. We're giving birth to inspiration, creativity. We're also getting things unstuck. Now, there's a way to do that without going on an intense run or getting into a spinning class. Um, or jumping up and down. I love to jump up and down to do this because it also clears the lymphatic um, system and drains all of the toxins out of the body. But if you have bad knees or have some issues where you can't jump up and down, I wanna give you a different technique into pumping that blood into your system and learning how to breathe and use a breath to heal. So you can sit either in crisscross applesauce or the easy pose um, with your knees you know, like this, I suggest always, always, always sit some higher, have your hips higher than your, your hips lower, hips higher than your knees. There we go, hips higher than your knees. If you don't have a cushion to sit on, grab some pillows. If you don't even have that, um, you could take a yoga block like this and you can put it underneath and you can sit on it like that, or you can change it, but let's elevate your hips. You could also just sit in a chair. Totally, if you can't put your knees like this and it's really uncomfortable for you, sitting in a chair is perfect. I prefer my cushion, nice and juicy, feels good. Okay, so the box breath, here we go. Or not the box breath, the fire breath. I'm having my shirt off so you can see, but this is what we're gonna be doing. We're going to be breathing in through our nose, and exhaling through our nose. But when we breathe in, we are filling this thing as big as we can get. Like, And we exhale, we're going to push, pull the navel towards the spine and exhale everything. We're gonna be doing it for about 30 seconds. You don't really need to do longer that. You could go for a minute. But for this challenge, do not go for longer than a minute. If you have, um, heart disease or you have any heart issues, I want you just to go back to the deep long breaths. I don't want to elevate or create any um, more damage to you. So again, always check in with your physician on what feels good for you, but your body will let you know. If you're doing this and you need to catch your breath, then just stop. You try 10 seconds and you can build up from there. Okay, so we're gonna give it a try. And then I would love for you just to practice this and let me know what you think. How did it feel? Go in the comments. Okay, so ready? Inhale and exhale it all out. One more time. And then we're gonna begin. After I burp. It's always interesting how that happens. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale. 